the stage now where I've got a whole bunch of stuff that I want to include. So um, I have some uh, coffee dyed papers that are going to make up the main signature where you can do your writing or sticking things on. Um, this piece I've made, I've got an envelope here and I've got another lovely envelope here, a window one. And I was thinking what could I put in the window. I just shoved that in just to see. And then I thought actually one well, then I could fold this over and do something interesting with this. So I've left that there for now. Um, then I've got various bits of ephemera, got some postcards. I've got these postcards from um car boot sale. A hundred botanical postcards. Amazing. For a pound. <laughs> uh, and I've got some papers, I've got some pages torn from an encyclopedia with various travel destinations on. Um, I've got these um, cigarette cards I bought off eBay and then I've got a whole bunch of tickets and papers and all sorts of stuff that I've bought from various Etsy sellers and painstakingly cut out and then inked all the edges to grunge them up. So now I have to decide how I'm going to put all this together and I need to decide quickly because my friend's birthday is on Saturday and so this needs to be finished by then and today is Wednesday. I'm not entirely sure where to start so I might go for the simple approach and um, get these pages prepared to make a signature. pages for writing and I'd like to do something with this so what am I going to put in there maybe not that this could work I quite like because I'm going to be adding a whole load of tickets into the journal um, so this could be quite a nice if I could create a strip and then fold it over and make some, maybe some kind of booklet. Now on the other side, this is the cover for the, um, the whole pack of this. So, um, but it's got some lovely images on. So I think I'm going to cut this out. Um, doesn't, it's not quite well. Yeah, if I include this stripy strip, then that should work. Those of you who follow my channel will know that I very rarely have a specific plan in mind. The way I prefer to work is to just go with the flow and be intuitive. So I'm going to stick this in here and then I think I'm going to stick this down and fold this over and then maybe create some kind of booklet. I'm not sure, but let's just um, let's just stick it down and see where we go. Probably only need to glue down this edge which I've just grunged but never mind I was thinking I was going to keep that bit on the outside but I changed my mind okay so I'm stick it in there I'm going to glue this down but maybe just around the edge in case you wanted to keep it as a flap. Oh no, that's not going to work, is it? <laughs> yeah, just glue it down. <laughs> Rapid backtracking. And then I'm going to fold this thinking and thinking. If I fold it like that, I could make a book in there. Or if I fold it like this and this, I could make a little booklet in there. Let's fold it down this line here. Let's do that first. And then This 
hard to tell if it's straight because this is all wonky, but I think that's straight. So what I've now got is the potential to put something in there. I can either glue this down here and here and make that into a pocket or I could make that into a signature and put some papers in there. What concerns me though about the whole piece is that it's starting to get incredibly thick and although I gave this a spine I don't think I've given it a wide enough spine. However, I really like this as a cover, so what I might do is cut down the spine and create a new wider spine so that everything's going to fit inside. Uh, but I will do that a bit further along the line. We don't need to do it just yet. Um, we'll see how much is in there before we do that. Now this itself is pretty scruffy. Do I want that as my opening page? Maybe not. I've probably got enough for several signatures here. So I've got that as a signature, I have that as a signature, and that as a signature. And then we like this particular postcard. Um, so we could make the opening quite florally, but then does it shout travel journal to you? Not necessarily, no. So we could stick something like this in and maybe layer it up with some tickets and things. I think that will work. So I'm going to glue this bit down now. I think I'm going to glue that, put some tickets um, and... We'll go for two signatures um, and then I'll figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of all this ephemera shortly. So let's work on that next. Okay, so let's pop that bit to one side and work on this bit. So we glue this and this. This needs to be glued so that it opens up like that. And that probably wants to be underneath, so let's glue this on first. Um, I've grunged up the edges, but I might do it a little bit more. I think it needs a bit more. I've got plenty of ink on my sponge. This feels quite magical, this one. It's a sort of fairy, fairy story that looks like Neuschwanstein. Um, the castle, the fairy tale castle in Bavaria that's then been dumped onto a rocky island with some magical flying boats. I'm not sure if my friend has uh, ever experienced magical flying boats, but it's always a first time. So, glue this down. And then we're going to just double check that's how it wanted. Yes, we're going to glue this down. It's always good when you start to piece all the bits together. The whole thing starts to take shape. And I think I'm just going to stick that randomly on. it to feel like it's a conglomeration of many years of travelling, which I know she's done. I've got lots of little phrases I've cut out as well. So we'll stick that as well. Yeah, let's make this let's make this opening page really full. Special and that it's taking us on a journey deeper into the journal. What else have we got here? There we go, that can go on there. Did 
do really like how this looks on here. Um, and I'll make it a little tuck spot. So I'm going to stick this on. Or, or, should I maybe put another one of these on? No, no. I'll think about that. Okay, so that's how we're going to open the journal. Now the journal cover, I've got these random stickery bits to go on from different I want to make memories all over the world time to travel I am going to um, design and cut out her name in the words travel journal, which will stick on top of everything on here. Uh, so I might, before I stick all this down, I might just, just wait and see how that looks. It's another cute little, put that on there as well. There's one there. No, wait, okay. I need to make some decisions. <laughs> I thought I might just stick all these bits on pages and then you can write around them. So let's, let's get a bit of that done. Let's stick some of this down. Just gonna make my mind up now. got this as a signature I'm gonna do something I think let's just make that a pocket I think that'll be just easy okay sponge up the edges okay that's gonna be a pocket decision made Just stick some stuff in. Could do now is make a little booklet to go inside there. With some paper, with it nicely. I'll just cut it down to size, and then we'll just make a little just a bit of something, a bit of stamping from some other project. But that's fine okay so it needs to be uh, a bit shorter and a bit cut down there okay there we go there's a little book that's going there so i'll sew that in in a second but of course it needs to have the old grunging because everything needs grunging that's the way of the crafter envelope so needs a postmark no it has one <laughs> one I think I might maybe add for this little signature here I might just cut some of these pages uh, these uh, encyclopedia pages to size to fit in there I'll go and cut that to size and that maybe stick really in this is a, something interesting i'm going to sew this in i've got a couple of pieces of paper i've got um a couple of pages of old encyclopedia with various travel destinations and i've got my folder i've tucked a couple of tickets in there and uh, that's a little bit tricky to work with because i've stuck it in which was a bit silly but <laughs> we will go with the flow. 
where there's a will there's a way is what I always say is just your basic pamphlet stitch. Nice and simple. Although not as easy when you're trying to do this on camera. It's a bit fiddly because it's not your usual flat, simple surface. Okay. Lift that a bit short, that's fine. I'm using a waxed thread. I don't know whether to keep that long and put something up. No, I'll just keep it simple. Cut those off. Okay. Move those. And we have our little booklet tucked in there. Um, and then I've got this little folio piece, which I actually designed. I'm going to be, um, I've got a week off next week from work, the day job, and I'm going to be uh, creating a new Etsy shop where I'm going to be selling all my digital work and I've been preparing a lot of it and getting ready to sell it so I've just been printing out some prototypes so this is another little pocket it's, it's got a lovely map background there oh, I've got a ticket now or something got the tickets in there Okay, so of course we need to have a pocket in here to keep things. I'm definitely going to have to cut this and create a new spine because there's no way all this is going to fit in. Um, and of course, so we've got, when I bind this, then we've got envelope here, which is, is, is wasted. So we, we can open up a slot somewhere on this envelope to create another pocket. Let's pop that in there for now. So it is coming along nicely. I think what I'm going to do next is uh, is bind this in. Uh, and then once it's all bound in, I can start embellishing it and sticking some stickers on and some of these. Let's put that in there. Better. That fits in there better. Uh, yeah, so that's fine. I'm not going to film me making the signature because you've just seen me do one. So I'll be back.